Morning call. Uh, ben in Chingford, how did you vote this time last year? Uh, hi, hi, Nigel. Uh, yeah, so I did vote Remain. Um, that that was my decision. Uh, I was actually contemplating on on voting out, and I'll tell you the reason why. Uh, it was actually mainly the three hundred and fifty million pound a week that was going to go back into the NHS, which you so brilliantly decided to plaster all over the side of a double deck. I know. Bus no, and, no, 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 no. I tell, I, I tell you what. I tell you what. I tell you what. I tell you what. So I tell you what, Ben. I tell you what, Ben. I tell you what, Ben. Ben, I tell you what. Let's start again, shall we? Uh, 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 uh. Our survey said. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's, start again. Thought, uh, let's start again, shall we? No, we Ben, 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 you ben, you've got to listen for a second. I've done... You're obviously not a regular listener to the show because we've done this time and time and time again. I never once mentioned the figure of 350 million a week for the NHS, and I did say publicly on Question Time during the campaign that I thought the figure was a mistake, a much lower figure should have been used, and I urged and I begged Michael Gove and others in private to drop the figure because it was too high, all right? So don't, don't put that on me, all right? So just answer the question then, Nigel. So how many millions of votes do you think you'd lose now that people know that that figure's incorrect? Well, had we given them the figure, Ben, let's say the figure of 220 million a week had been used, right? That figure would have stunned everybody anyway. Um, and so, actually, 350 million a week wouldn't get one vote more than 220 million a week. And I just wish they'd used a net figure and not a gross figure. But, I mean, if it's, if it's a competition about lies, I mean, do bear in mind that, you know, 40 years ago, the establishment told people in the referendum they were voting to stay part of a common market that was about trade and would not affect their political sovereignty. So you could argue, could you not, that the other side have been conning us for nearly half a century. No, I think the argument is, Nigel, is that your side conned us when it was most important. Your side put across the fact that they were going to deliver £350 million a week to the NHS, which they have failed to do. You've got absolutely no intention of doing so whatsoever, and it's absolutely despicable. I watched your interview on Good Morning, Good Morning TV the, ne the next day with uh, mm. Susanna Reid, and it was embarrassing. Mm. It was utterly embarrassing. You're, you, it was a disgrace. You lied to the British public. You led About them what? To, About what? About, about the figure. They, they specifically sat down and said to you, are you, gonna, are you gonna send this money to the NHS, this 350 million pounds a week? And you stuttered and you mumbled and you cut her off, and you, as you always do. The 350 million pounds a week we send to the EU, which we will no longer send to the EU, can you guarantee that's gonna go to the NHS? No, I can't, and I, and I would never have made that claim. And that was one of the mistakes I didn't think that the Leave campaign made. Well, Hang on a moment. That was one of your adverts. Well, it wasn't one of my adverts. I can assure well, you. Well, that was one of the Leave campaign adverts. It was. That, it that was, money was going to go to the NHS. And I think they made a mistake. That's why people, many people, have voted. They, they, they made a mistake in doing that. But what I can tell you is, we have a nice. You're telebed. saying after 17 million people have voted for Leave, yep. based, I don't know how many people voted on the basis of that advert, but that was a huge part of the propaganda. You're not saying that's a mistake. We have a £10 billion a year, a £34 million a day feather bed that is going to be free money that we can spend on the NHS, on schools, or whatever it is. But you're not guaranteeing that that money, as promised, will go well, to you the must NHS. Like, you must understand, I was ostracised by the official Leave campaign and, did my, and as I've always done, there, did my own thing. Do you think there are <laughs> other things that people will wake up this morning and find out aren't going to happen as a result of voting this way? Well, I tell you what they will find out, that we're back to being a normal country, uh, in charge of our own laws and able to start making our own relationships with the rest of the world, maybe even re-engaging with the Commonwealth. Ben, 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 you've got a real problem here, mate. You know, you may well have this conversation with Boris if you want to. I never once put the figure 350 million a week. I never once defended it. I thought it was a mistake. We should have used, they should have used the net figure of 220. And I promise you, had it been 220 million a week on those posters or 350, it wouldn't have made any difference at all. Do you get that point or not? Yeah, uh, yeah certainly. Yeah, of course I do. So the figure was, in, the, the figure was incorrect. Granted, yes. you, you, you know, you've yes. admitted that. So commit to me now that £220 million a week will be delivered to the NHS now that we've decided to leave the European Union. Well, I tell you Promise what, you better, ask, 
you better ask Boris, who is now the Foreign Secretary, and you better ask Michael Gove, who is now in charge of Environment and DEFRA, because they are the Cabinet Ministers who made those promises about big NHS spending increases. They can answer that. I'm afraid I can't possibly answer that, because I'm not in a position to deliver it. But what I can say is that we are in a far better position to spend our own money in our own country. You're listening to Nigel Farage. It's time for the news. It's 7.30. Combustible.